بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم نحمده ونصلي على رسوله الكريم I greet you with السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته from the city of Yerevan in Armenia and as you can hear I have a sore throat and the cough has returned but I'm grateful to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to be here in Armenia this friendly country friendly to those who worship the one God. And my visit so far has been very educational for me and I've been thrilled with some of the exchanges which have been taking place. Uh, from Armenia, I will inshallah be traveling to other countries, eventually to Greece and to Albania and to Macedonia, northern Macedonia. Um, and I'm looking forward to that. I've been to Albania once before. It's my first time to Greece and first time to Skopje. But I have to uh, do this um, recording today because of an SOS I've, been, I've received from my team in Skopje uh, who've been informing me of the dangerous developments taking place in that region of the world. And I must hasten to try, in any way that I can possibly do, try to avoid conflict, try to avoid bloodshed, try to avoid war. Our Prophet, Allah's blessings be upon him, said that when you meet the enemy on the battlefield, try, tell them we don't want war, we prefer peace to war. We are a people who prefer peace to war. And so if there are hotheads who want to wage war on Macedonia, it is the function and the duty of our Muslim people to stop them, prevent them from waging war on Macedonia. Macedonia is now under a very oppressive attack. Any people who speak a language would know that we are the owners of our language. The Macedonian people, they have the ownership of their language. And it is manifestly oppressive. They should be forced to accept that their language is a dialect of some other language for political reasons. This is political oppression. This is linguistic oppression. And not only must it be con condemned, but we, the Muslim people all over the Balkans, all of us who are Muslims, must stand in support of those who are oppressed. And it is as plain and as clear as daylight that Northern Macedonia is now being oppressed. And the function of a Muslim is to stand with the oppressed and to resist the oppressor. And if there are those who want to wage war on Macedonia now in order to fulfill a very evil political agenda connected with NATO. Then our duty is to intervene, stand up. The Prophet said, and you see something wrong, change it with your hand. And if you cannot, then change it with your tongue. And if you cannot, then at least change it with your heart. But that's the weakest form of faith. And so I share with you this view tonight, today, from our Yerevan in Armenia, that you must now intervene. You must make the best effort you can, all the Muslims of the Balkans, in most of all the Muslims of Albania, and I'll soon be there with you, to ensure that peace must prevail over war, and that nobody who is a Muslim should ever be participating in any bogus war on behalf of those who are oppressors. We pray and we ask you to join us in this prayer that Allah might be, may save the people who are oppressed, that Allah might help the people who are oppressed, and that he might stop those who are committing oppression. Thank you. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.